Hi, everyone. Well, <laughs> everyone that might come, this is an impromptu live stream. This is Sunday afternoon, about 5.30 Central Time. And I've had a busy day of arting already today. I attended Tanya McGuire's live stream earlier today where she's making a totally junk junk journal. And I will put a link to that in the description box below after this live stream is over. Also, welcome to everyone who's coming in. Then after that, I went to a Zoom meeting by Hi Not Me. <laughs> it's not me either. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome to everyone who's coming in. Um, after Tanya McGuire, I went in. Oh, Kim Marie. Hi, Kim Marie. Hi, Don Boss. Welcome, welcome. I am doing an impromptu journal. I want to do Rosemary Morris's spine journal. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do an impromptu. This is a perfect time for me to do it. It's quiet in the house. My brother and his his son, my my nephew, are out tilling the garden, so it's quiet, and I've got all my books, I think, ready, so I think that you felt the... <laughs> oh, Kim Marie, the, you, that's funny. I love that name. At first, I thought, is that a troll? And then I go, no, that's not a troll. They wouldn't say, hi, Mary. They'd say something really bad. <laughs> so... um. But I thought that would be a really good time to do uh, an impromptu live stream to catch up with Rosemary Morris. Hi, Jan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Now, let me explain to you what happened last Friday night. I, what I have up here now is my old phone that you usually see down here on my desk. I was just getting ready to end my live stream on Friday night. Hi, Sherry. And I was clearing off my desktop here because I wanted to paint my desktop. It's getting pretty messy. And I was changing the angle of my newer phone so that you could see my entire desktop. And my phone just shot. out. I've got one of those gooseneck um, phone clamps that have the little clamp that clamps on, you know, and you put the phone in there and it holds it like that. Well, as I was changing the angle, my phone shot out of the clamp, went over, hit the corner of the wall and broke the screen. I could, it still, the phone still works as far as if I got a phone call, I couldn't answer it because the screen was only half there and I couldn't get to the home screen. I couldn't get to any of the controls. So I took it in on Saturday, the very next day, and said, I broke it. I killed it, but at least I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> and uh, so they checked my records and everything. And lucky for me, when I bought that phone, they made me get the insurance. And the insurance covered everything. I don't have to buy a new phone, but I did have a deductible. And I had a choice of whether to pay $149 and get a, a replacement rebuilt phone right away or pay $29 and send my phone in and wait for them to repair it. Well, I chose the $149 one. So if you guys want to know where my last YouTube, <laughs> I just got a YouTube payment. So, thank you guys for helping me fix my phone. That's all I can say. Hi, Linda. No, oh, it's Guten, Guten, Guten Bond. Is that good evening? Guten Bond, Guten de Bond. Good afternoon. Linda is teaching me Dutch. Let me write it down. Let me write it down. What is the English? It's got to be either good evening or good afternoon. A bond, but what does it mean? G O. I know it's good, like good, 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 and it's good evening. A V O N D is good evening. 
Am I pronouncing it right? A V O N D is a a bond or avond? Good, 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 and avond, avond. A oh, it's good evening. I've got to go out on Google and learn how to pronounce them. Hi, Lori loves Montana. Well, I'm going to learn a few words in Dutch. <laughs> That's what I love about those early morning streams. I get all you, and maybe even because now let's see, it's five thirty here, so it has to be it has to be in the morning over there, isn't it? Or is it in the late late wee hours of the morning? What time is it in the Netherlands? <laughs> so, I am going to show you. Let me put my little sign away. It's 11.38 in the evening, so it's almost midnight over there. I'm just going to put it here for now. Put this down where I can find it again. Now, you saw me gut this collectibles book, and I'm not going to move that phone. I'm going to move my stuff on the desk because I'm afraid I'll break my old phone. <laughs> and I think that my books are stacked high, so it looks closer to my screen. Oh, by mere minutes. Oh. Oh, well, you know, if you have to get some rest, Linda, there's always the replay. I don't want you to feel like you got to stay and watch. But you're welcome to stay and watch. Um, I am going to do Rosemary Morris's Spine Journal Project. I've got some peach tea here. Peach tea. Now, I leave my little tea bag in there. I don't know if that's the proper thing to do, but I leave my tea bag in my tea. Ah, uh, this is Celesto Seasonings Country Peach Tea. Yeah, you'll have to go watch. Oh, on, uh, you mean last Friday night? Or I don't know which live stream you're talking about. But anyway, uh, I'm on my old phone. It's Friday afternoon. If, if, I, if I lose my data connection, I'll try to come back. That's all I have to say. Now, I'm looking for some books. Uh, and Rosemary is doing some smaller ones. This one measures... And I'm going to use this one because I've already gutted it because I wanted all the fussy cuts out of it. So this one's pretty much ready to go, and it's it's thin. It's not a thick book, but I may be cutting that spine and making it thicker, and I think that's what Rosemary did. It is 11 and a fourth by, not counting the spine, by 10 and 3 fourths. Now this one, this is this one is the only one I have gutted. So I have this one, the Kin Kin Kaf Kaf Facet. He's that knitter. <laughs> he does beautiful, and he did mosaics here. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. I may leave that. So I was using this for some. I think I did a pick ten. <laughs> Oh, dear me. I should put that in my fussy cut box. So I think I might use this one since I've already started, see, tearing out of it. And I love the inside pages. So I think I'll use that one. And now let's see. It measures. It measures. Uh, 11 and a fourth again by not counting the spine by eight. So this one is not quite as wide. It's as tall, but not quite as not quite as wide, but it is as tall. It's, it's pretty tall there, and they're about the same fit. Hi, Joan. Welcome, welcome. Popped in to see what's going on. Well, you're certainly welcome to pop in and see what's going on. It, aren't these beautiful? He just uh, blows my mind. Now, he's doing mosaics here, but he is really famous for his knitting. I think he does some quilting, but don't count me on that. And I know he does needlework. 
and a lot of kneading, uh, knitting, kneading, knitting. And I think he does some needlepoint. I think of those pillows and things, home decorating needlepoint. And, uh, of course, he's working in mosaic here, but he's really famous for his color combinations. So I think I'll gut this one and gut this one. And actually, I'm going to to use a do a little bit different than Rosemary did, I think. I have this one. Now, it's a little tall, but that's okay. This is Thomas Kincaid. Now, this part did not attract me as much. It's, it's a nice kind of a nice design on the inside. Let's see. I think the cover is also glued down. Let me get the cover. Let me get the cover off here without killing myself. I got this one at Goodwill. But what I think I'm going to do, let's see if I can just slip it off here. No, it's taped in. It's taped in. Keep your fingers out of the way. Don't kill you or anybody else. There we go. So I, I'll be gutting the pages out of these. But this is Tom Kincaid. The Spirit of America. And of course, I'm going to save the book covers. And I'm going to gut the pages. I'm going to take the pages out so I just have the spine. But I can make this one. Whoops, I bumped my camera. Sorry about that. I can make this one open up vertically. And that's what's attracting me there. So I've got these three. And then I want a big, thick one. So for the big thick one, let's get this one out of the way. I, this one's probably pretty too tall, so let me move that. This was a, this, oh, I love this one because of the inside. But you know what? It's not thick enough for me. So I'm going to save this beautiful one with all this wonderful picture that I just adore for another project. As much as I love it, it's not going to work for me. And I think, I think the one that I have in my hand here is going to be the one I use, even though, let's see, yeah, it's about the same height. The only one that is taller is this one, and that's okay. That's okay. So this is going to be my big thick one, and I have been using this one to, I was going to draw a picture of this lady who is, at age 16, Pittsburgh-born chorus liner Elevin Nesbitt took her sugar daddy New York architect Stanford Whitehouse, whose work was includes the Washington Square Arch. She married, oh, took as her sugar daddy. So then she married a uh, uh, mining guy, Henry Thaw, and he couldn't handle Nesbitt's Tales of rough, uh-oh. <laughs> he couldn't handle the rough tales, but I, I'm attracted to her picture. She was a little, she's a little, she played around a little. But I love this history book. I love history. If I could just leave out all the World War II pictures, but I guess you can't leave out, you can't rewrite history, so there they are. But let me take the cover off of it. Let me put these on the bottom here. Yeah there and let's pull my bookmarks out because I'm going to be done with those and this all right welcome to everybody who's come in let me see who's come in I've been chatting hi Patricia Monica 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 hi everybody say hello to Monica she the creative beast she is the lady who led the she leads, she leads a Zoom session every month. And uh, we worked on our own projects today, and then we talked about them. She did a really good job. I had a good time. If you're interested, let her know, and she sends out a newsletter. I think she's building a, um, 
She's building a, a YouTube channel, but I don't know if it's all up and going yet. But Monica, so glad to have you in here. So, and Monica, if you have any links you want to share, or if you want to share your email address um, for the newsletter, or anything you want to share, just, I'm not sure the links will work, but they can cut and paste, or they can copy it, I think, or it will be in the chat after. Good night, Kimmery. Yeah, you got chores to do. That's understandable. You have a good evening. 3 a.m. comes early. I understand. Let's see. What else is going on? Patricia, I said hello to Patricia and to Monica. Janet. Hi, Janet, my lady. Janet, I'm doing an impromptu because I need to get caught up with uh, Rosemary Spine Journals. That's what I'm working on. So thank you for coming, Janet. I did not tell. Well, actually, I told one person that I was going to do an impromptu. <laughs> so I just said I'm going to try it. Hi, AJ and Eva. Welcome. And Ruby. Hi, 33rd. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm kind of scrolling back as carefully as I can so I don't shoot my phone off of the hook here. Let's see. I said hello to Ruby and to Janet and Eva and to Dawn. Who did I miss? Lori loves Montana. Monica, Janet. Jan, hi, Jan. Welcome, welcome, Jan. Kim Marie's got to go get some rest before her 3 a.m. wake-up call. Linda McAllister, I said, <laughs> good and good and good and uh, good and good and good and good <laughs> uh, Oven, of oven, good in oven. I've got to Google those to see how you pronounce them, but you know what I mean. All right, and Joan. Hi, Joan. Hi, Allie Kay and Sherry. 3 a.m. Kim's an early riser. She stops in my early morning some days just to say good morning right before she goes to work, which is perfectly okay. I, I enjoy that. So what I'm going to do tonight is gut these. I've got, <laughs> got them. It sounds like I'm killing a chicken. <laughs> I've got this one all deconstructed might be a more proper word. <laughs> but if you grow up in the country, you know what you mean when you're going to gut something. <laughs> let me get a, let me move this tea out of the way. Mmm. Peach tea. I've had all sorts of treats today. I was drinking squirt in the Zoom this morning. Good and tag. Good and tag. <laughs> to all German fibs. Allie K says. So I'm just going to come right down here and start. This is the uh, Thomas Kincaid one. I'm just going to start removing some of these beautiful pages. I will probably use them. I'm not sure how. And I've been watching Rosemary, but I I never know when she's going to go live. And she was live right before my live on Friday. But I can't. I'm, that's not a good time for me because we have our supper and then there's dishes to wash and clean up, you know. And then I have to take a breather before I go live. So I watch Rosemary's replays. She's doing a wonderful job on hers. Now, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with my journal. I think I'm going to use it to keep my fussy cut pages that I can't decide if I want to fussy cut them or not. Some of those full pages are just too beautiful to, on the front and back to cut up yet. So I might store them in a big journal like this for a while. We'll see. I might put some pages in there as glue book pages just for the fun of it. And I'm doing this while I'm standing up, so. <laughs> Don't get scared. I'm cutting away from my fingers. There we go. Does it matter if the pages are glued or sewn? I In this journal, I don't think it matters. Now, in the journal that Jerry at uh, Recycled Parts for Art, 
she asks that we have pages that are sewn in. And these, of course, are glued. You can tell they're glued. There's no stitching in there. Um, however, I think some of them are... Let's see if this one's stitched in. No, I think this one's glued. This one looks like it might be stitched, but it, it's glued in, you can tell. I have some that are stitched. That they're, they're harder and harder to find. These are all glued in. So if you're going to work on pages that you want to leave in the book, like say I wanted to journal on this, uh, and actually use the pages. I'm removing the pages here. You might want pages that are stitched in because they're more secure. On glued-in pages, by the time you get all that wet media on it, it, it starts breaking loose. But if you're going to remove the pages like I'm doing here, and I just love that. Ooh, how beautiful is that? So I'm going to try. If you excuse me for a minute, I'm going to sit down. And I'll catch up with Chad in a minute here. I have to stand up to catch up with Chad. And I'm hoping I'm not going to buffer while I'm doing this. I'm going to try to leave this facing page in, but I might have to... I might have to deal with it later. We'll see. It's kind of glued to the last page. Oh, I think I did it. Of course, I got the index page here, but that's okay. Now, let's see if I can't cut right in here. So I figure if I get a spine journal built, I if I'm not happy with just putting in the pages, I can come back and always do something else with it. Now see, I want to leave these beautiful. I want to leave these. So I'm going to try to, to leave it again here. I'm not sure I'm going to always be successful on this. There we go. There's that one. Now let's see if I can... Let me stand up and I'm always a little bit unsure if I'm going to lose my... If I lose my data connection, if I freeze up or start spinning, as soon as I notice it, I'll be back. <laughs> let's see if I can't cut this out. I love Rosemary's journal. She's a wonderful journal maker. She does a wonderful job. And actually, she made a letter journal for me a couple years ago. And I don't even know if she remembers doing that. I think she was showing it once. And she said, I made this and gave it away, but I don't know who I gave it to. And I'm going, it was me who gave it to me. <laughs> And she actually completed that journal. Well, I think she left some writing spaces for me, but she it was just a wonderful journal. And, of course, it's in storage. I could not bring everything back to Nebraska with me. A lot of my art is still in Wisconsin. Allie Kay. Oh, did I? No, I've got those. So I've got my facing pages if I want them. <laughs> So let's see what I'm doing here. I got these pages that I've cut out. I need to put them separate from my... Oh, you don't want to see. Somebody asked me in my live stream on Friday night if they could see my see my studio, <laughs> my space. And I'm going, no, no, no. No, you can't. <laughs> it's a mess in here. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I think I'm going to try to leave that. I hope I'm still live here. As soon as I get this done, I'll check. Now, I may not get a whole lot done in this tonight because I'm just kind of gutting the pages and I'm going to try to work out how I want it to be. And that's kind of what Rosemary did. We'll see how far I get. I don't want this to go forever tonight. I just thought I would try it and see if it was a good time to go impromptu, and it seems to be. Now, this is not my premiere. 
I want to do another premiere, and I'm going to, I don't know if I'll make Tuesday afternoon this week. The Janet suggested that I do my premieres on Tuesday afternoon since Aunt Beth moved to uh, Thursday afternoons. I'm going to try real hard to do my premiere on Tuesday. We'll see, because I know exactly what I want to do. Isn't that beautiful? That's the 7,000 years ago. This is how one sector of the Milky Way looked. Huh. I guess they know. <laughs> Let's see if I can cut this. And I may go back and do something with these facing pages, but right now I just kind of want to leave them in the in the covers. Now I'm kind of doing a bad job up here. There we go. There we go. Look at this. Am I going to have fun fussy cutting? But what bothers me is, okay, let's go. Is this wartime stuff? Well, not so much. This is talking about here. Right in with the war. And it goes clear over to, now if I was doing a history book, I'd include the war, but we don't need, it goes over to Kennedy here. So World War II is about in here. Don't need that much of war. <laughs> Get another book for war. <laughs> I mean, a chapter, a chapter would be fine. <sighs> oh, well, it's, it's part of our century. I guess, Mary, you can't rewrite history. We've proven that <laughs> for your glue book projects. Whoa. All right. So here's what I have. This is going to be the base because it's got a spine that's. <laughs> one and a half inches. This spine. What I'm thinking now is. I think what Rosemary did was. She opened up, I think she opened up her her covers so that she had a, a spine here. And then she just had one, she split this. So she had one half here and one half here. And then it closed in on itself that way. I have three. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this spine because I love it. But these are about the same size. I'm going to build a spine here, a spine... And then I'm going to have the book, the book fold this way and come back this way. So it will look like this. Let's see. It'll fold. It'll be the spine will be there. The spine will be here. And then it will fold this way and come back that way. And then the other one, not the Tim Kincaid one, but this one will do the same. It will fold. Let me get it. Uh, there'll be a spine here. So I've got to build some spines. There'll be a spine in here. And then the book will fold this way. And then fold this way. I think. That's what I'm thinking. So when I open up the pages here. I can still have something in here. And I may take one of these beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Maybe that Ken, Kath, 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 what's his name? Kath, Fassat. I may take this one and put it in here. Or I may leave that one and find another beautiful one and put here. But I can have pages in here if I want. They're pretty big. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry, I gave the measurements earlier. There, these on the outside are 11 and a fourth tall and 10 and this one is, oh, this one's eight and a half wide. And then the one on the back is 11 and a fourth, same 11 and a fourth. And it's a little wider. It is, well, I said 10, it's really nine. I'm not counting the spine. It's really about nine. I, I don't know. I think I've said eight and three-fourths. So, and then the base one 
is is got a two inch spine and it is not counting this gutter here for the spine it is nine and a fourth by by eleven post eleven and a fourth so they're pretty big I plan to put my let me get some out here let me get my fussy cuts and show you let me show you I got my fussy cut folder here I've got all sorts of fussy cuts I've got all sorts of fussy cuts I've started putting them in here but this is even getting full but see I have and this is just a portion of them that I put in here put in here but I have full page fussy cuts well that one I might cut but uh, I have fussy cuts like this thoughts I only went for a walk and finally concluded to stay out till sundown for going out I found was really going in you know and some of these full page fussy cuts I'm not ready see they're they're good on both sides so and and these are just a few of them I've got a whole stack of them and I'm thinking that I'm going to put them in here and maybe I'll even make a journal out of them and do journaling around them uh, it just depends these these are what just what was in there I've got really pretty ones that just too pretty well even out of that collectibles what did I do with my collectibles there are a lot of them in the collectibles section let's see if I can find them hold them on, on a minute this is getting too full let me put these in the back here too full well I'll just do that later I have to see that's why I want some place to put them because I, I bend them up in here let's see if I can find I just pulled them out when I was here they are here they are these are that collectibles book this one I had so much fun fussy cutting out of this whoopsie my little ones here I got my little ones here that I need to put away before I lose them all but full page ones like like these look at those stamps and then you turn the page and the silhouettes I'm not ready to cut both sides yet and I know you can photocopy I know you can scan and you know all of that but I'm thinking I'll just make a journal out of all the pretty ones so that may be what I do with that. I need to put all these little ones. Look at this. Isn't that fun? Look at that. That's going to make a nice journal page. <laughs> and these are just some, these are some stamps that I fussy cut. I, I could cut some. I, I bit the bullet and cut some because I needed them. So that's what I'm thinking right now that I'm going to use it for. And then I might... In the center section well maybe not in the center section let me get these put away before I lose everything hold a minute let me put them away a minute I might oh I left the stamp out <laughs> I always do that I'll put it over here um, I, th I think now I think it would make more sense to put any art journal that I want to journal on in the thinner books that are going to be attached and leave this big two th inch thick spine for the fussy cuts that makes a lot more sense to me let me go back through chat welcome welcome Stephanie let's see Monica I said hello to Monica hi Stephanie Leather and Jade, I saw you put up a new video. See, I need to go out and watch it. Today was a busy day. <laughs> I think I've been online all day today. I said I gotta have some time to play. Let's see who else. Who else snuck in on me here? Kimberly five five seven. Hi Kimberly. Kathy Whitney. Hi Kathy. Mitzi. Hi Mitzi. Alona, Janet, Jerry, P. 
Psst, I have to tell you, Jerry was the one who I told that I was going to come online this afternoon. I said, Jerry, I haven't told anybody but you. <laughs> and actually, I didn't think about it till what was it, about 8.30 or 9 this morning when I thought about it? I'm going to try to do a live stream tonight, just an impromptu one, and see how it goes. Because I want to work on this journal. And then at 12 o'clock, Tanya McGuire had a wonderful live stream where she's working in her totally junk, junk journal. And uh, then after that, Monica, the creative beast, had her her Zoom where we worked on, we just worked on art projects. Let me show you what I'm doing. So I was showing it, to, what did I do with it? Help out, what did I do with it? I put it over here, but then I moved all my stuff. Where did I put it? Well, I may not show it to you. Oh, here it is. I, I've showed this in my uh, in a video or in my live streams before, but this is a little calendar book that I worked on. I think I showed it in my early morning stream. A little calendar book that that I'm working in, and it was 2011, and this is from my last full-time job. And I painted out all the appointments and meetings and blah, blah, blah stuff. I painted out all the pages, and I've got some small from those uh, child craft magazines, some small pictures that really don't go in my reverse collage book that I'm doing. So I painted out the calendar pages, and this is acrylic craft paint in the background, and just a plain black craft marker, the black, and then those are some white uh, gel pen. Those are kind of... Uh, cat hen style where she puts her white dots around there and I did all of that and then I started handwriting on the beginning of these pages you can kind of see my handwriting through there but I hated it I hated how it was coming out and I must have done about 10 pages and so I put it away for about five six months I haven't been working on it and finally I got it out and I started started painting out all my handwriting again so now, I'm at the point, well, see in here, right in here, that's ink tints. This is craft paint, and this, around the picture, is ink tints. And I just take my brush, I run a stream down there, and then I take my brush and just kind of brush it out. Like that. I've been doing that on all, I'll show you that one in a minute, on all of these pages. And that really is a fun technique. So today... Monica said, we're going to work on stuff that we have started, but we don't have finished. So I got this calendar out, and because I didn't like my handwriting, let me grab one. I've got these books. I've got, the, I've got a whole set of these, but not all of them have photos. A lot of them have written, uh, written or, um, illustration, artwork, and that's what not what I'm doing in my other book. I'm photos in my other book but there's a lot of text in here that I can use wooden shoes Ooh, I like that and I've got one I don't have it handy and I don't want to dig it out but it has poetry and nursery rhymes so I started matching up verses let's see, find the first one I did today come on it's here it's here it's all about their feet yeah, it's always when you want to show it, you can't find it. Well, you're getting a little flip. It's got to be here. All right, take a breath. There, there, no, 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 no. Here, Barefoot Days. And so I found this little poetry in another child craft encyclopedia and I cut it out and glued it in. And I'm trying to find poetry or verses or text that matches what's going on in the photos. Like here she's putting on her shoes or taking them off. And here she is barefoot at the sea and she's listening to a shell. So it says, in the morning very early, that's the time I love to go barefoot where the fern grows curly. And then it goes on. So I did that one. And, Monica, if you want to put in your information of how they can reach you, if they want to join one of your creative sessions, she does them once a month. I think it's the last week in the month. You sure can if you're still here. This one, I love this one because this little boy looks so innocent. And I found this poem called Mr. Nobody. 
It says, no a funny little man as quiet as a mouse who does the mischief that is done in everybody's house. And he just looks like he could go around doing mischief. And then at the end of every verse, it blames Mr. Nobody. Mr. Nobody did that. <laughs> so I want to finish this little calendar book. That's my, I, I want to get it done by the end of the year. But I'm finding text and verses that match my pictures. <laughs> so I worked on that today. But I want to work on Rosemary's journal. At least figure out what I want to do here. Let's go back through chat. Let's see. I told you what I was going to do in this. Thank you, Jerry. Monica says, oh, I do have a different sign-up for the monthly creative gathering. I'll share that, and Janet can clear it. Okay, that will be fine. I enjoy them. I enjoy them. I enjoy Zooming. And while we're talking about Zooming, you're all in here, let Jerry and I remind you that we do a monthly Zoom. We've got quite a sign-up. We've got quite a few people signed up. We don't require you to be there. You know, that if you can't make it, we entirely understand because both of us, well, I just told you what I did all day and Jerry's twice as busy as I am because she runs a business. So, but we get all the way from what? 15 to 20 people. I think we've had two meetings and we've had, I, I, well, I think we had 11 last time, but uh, that's enough when you're doing a Zoom. So if you're interested in doing a Zoom with Jerry and I, we're collaborating. Jerry is sponsoring it and uh, because she has the pro version of Zoom. Just email Jerry or email myself, and we'll get you on the sign-up list. So just throw that out. What did we do last week? Jerry, Jerry made tags. Oh, what did I do with Jerry's tag? Let me show you. Let me show you what we did last week because... I'm working in Jerry's book, too. There's so much to work in. I'm having so much fun with these altered books, let me tell you. Here is the book that I'm altering with. Jerry's doing an alter book, and she's done three pages now. And Jerry, I'm still on page three. But I did the tag. Here's the tag that I made in, in our Zoom that Jerry led the project. And it's so neat because it's layered. You can see this is about four by three and a half. And this was Tim Holt's travel paper. And then I tore it into smaller tags. And I put bicycles because I have a vintage picture of some ladies on a bicycle. And then this is just muslin that I dyed with uh, ink tints. While I was working on it, I just painted it. I said dyed it. I painted it with ink tints. And Baker's twine and my little... And then decorated it and, you know, distressed the edges. And it's going to go in... I'm in the process of working on Jerry's page three, which is back here. I painted it. I haven't got too far on it, Jerry. I want to put maps on here, and I'm going to do travel tags. This will probably have to go in the center in here. So I'm working, here's the paper that I'm using, making the tags out of. It's Jerry's, uh, Jerry's, Tim Holtz travel paper. And then you just, the tag. Jerry, have, do you have your video up yet, Jerry, of how to make this? How to make the tag? She's going to put up a video of how she makes that. Too late, too late in the, well... We Zoom at, uh, yeah, it might be kind of late for you. We Zoom from 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Well, I don't know what 1 o'clock your time is, Linda. <laughs> but if you say it's too late, I get it. But here's another thing, Linda, and Jerry and I are talking about that. And to anybody else that's interested, we're just getting a start, Jerry and I. We're just... You know, finding out who's interested and what times are good and everything. But after we get a good start, Mary, <laughs> Mary wants to do some impromptus. So once we get a good start, however we end up communicating with you, I might put out a message and say, Mary's going to Zoom from 1 to 5 on Wednesday, the blah, 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 blah. Uh, come and come and join me. And if somebody comes, fine. If nobody comes, 
comes, I'll just work on my art. So I would love to do some impromptus because not everybody can make it on Saturdays. We understand that. People are busy and then we're going into a busy time of the year and people on the other side of the world are asleep. <laughs> so, Anne, there's Anne Williamson. Hi, Anne. Oh, yeah, Anne, we got your name on the list. But I want to do some impromptus. Anne and I have, have been talking, and she, she says she's interested. So we want you there, Anne. So we put, your we put your name on. Well, I can't because I'm on my old phone. But I, I gave Jerry your email, so she's putting you down. Welcome, Anne. It's so good to see you. And I am working, or at least trying to get something done, on Rosemary's Spine Journal. And I do think what I need now are some spines to go here. And I think that I'm going to keep these not this thin. Well, yeah. Let's see. Do I want to leave? Do I want to leave a thick one in here? I don't want this too big. Maybe an inch. Maybe even three-fourths of an inch. But this will close up. Let me see how that's going to work. If I leave three-fourths of an inch there, I can put pages there, but I'll want I'll have to I'll have to fold this up and this is probably what a half inch? A little over a half inch. So if I put this here and this takes a half inch, I I may want an inch or maybe an inch and a half because I want this to fold here. And I think that's going to work just fine. I might end up cutting some of this off. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. And I love it when Rosemary says, we'll figure it out as we go. So that's kind of what I'm doing, Rosemary, if you're listening. Here's Monica's link to get on her newsletter, Jerry says. Okay, thank you. There you go. There's the link for Monica's newsletter. And once you're on her newsletter, you can uh, follow through and sign up for her Zooms. Uh, Monica Zooms, I believe, on the last Sunday of each month. But she'll tell you. She sends out uh, a, a newsletter, an email, the week of the Zoom. And then I think it's the day before her Zoom, she sends out the number. And of course, for those of you who don't know what Zoom is, it is a video uh, conferencing software. It looks a lot like Google Hangouts, where you can sit and talk to each other, except you're not publicly online. So the whole world isn't going to see you. And Monica did not record hers. I will not record mine. Jerry might do, is what I'm hearing, some recording of just like her hands doing a project. But that's all said and done if she does that not said and done <laughs> that's all <laughs> that's all in the air um if she does she'll let you know but i i will not record mine because and so far we haven't been recording because i want you all to be comfortable i i want to be comfortable <laughs> you know sometimes it just it's bad hair days what can you say and i'm growing my hair i'm growing my hair out from I've dyed my hair ever since I was age 25 until age, well, <laughs> age seniors. <laughs> so after, after 60, let's put it that way. And uh, I just decided when I applied for my, when I retired and I got my, my social security, I'm on retirement. Literally, I'm at full retirement age. I decided I wasn't going to dye my hair anymore. <laughs> so I'm letting it grow out. And when it gets just a little bit below my shoulders, I'm going to have it cut off. And then I might show my face. Yeah, mine isn't even salt and pepper, though. Mine is half. The top half is white. I like it. I like the top half, but the bottom half is brown. And I'm not ready to cut it off at a short length to get the brown off. I want it to grow out to at least maybe just a little bit underneath my shoulders. Hi, Crafty Mamas. Is that Shelly? Did I see Shelly come in? 
I did. Hi, Shelly. You've probably been here and I just saw you. Jerry, can you just focus your camera on your product? Yes, she can. And that's what she's talking about, Shelly. She'll just focus her, her, and that's what Monica did today, too, when we did show and tell, and when Monica was sh demonstrating what she was doing, just like I am now, she focuses her camera, she does, you don't have to show your face, and even if you come in, and you're having a bad hair day, you can just, just show your icon, like your little YouTube icon, you can just show that, except for I, I talked Jerry into showing her face today. I said, your bad hair day can't be any worse than my bad hair day. <laughs> so she did. Jerry's, Jerry's good. Let's see, what else have I missed here? And so she's been growing her hair out too. Yeah, Jerry said you can always turn your video off so we can't see and you can still be heard. And then if, say, say there's noise in your house and there's a football game going, maybe, you know, the rest of your family is watching the weekend football game, you can, you can sit and listen maybe through your earbuds or your earphones, and, uh, but mute, and it, nobody else will hear the football game playing. So I like Zoom because of that. And I like Zoom because I do not lose data connection. I can be on one of those Zoom meetings all day long and it doesn't drop me. Although I will say YouTube's been a lot better lately. Let's see, what else, who else have I missed here? Stephanie, Anne, Shelly, Jerry, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Thank you, and welcome. I said hello to Joan. Good to see you all in here. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. I'm not going to scroll back anymore. Let's see what you're saying now. Uh, Joan says, I had bad hair life. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right. So I think I decided that I want to build a spine here. Maybe a half let's see i don't think i think this is about two inches i think that's too big maybe about an inch and a half uh, let's see what an inch and a half is oops i knocked something down through over the cliff oh that's an inch and a half i thought that was two inches well i was probably counting the gutters which i want gutters i don't quite i guess i only wanted an inch but if I put journaling, yeah, I guess maybe an inch, and then I'll leave uh, some on, because I've got to connect it. So, I want to get out my cornflake box. Let's do the frosted flakes. I don't eat frosted flakes, but my brother, my brother <laughs> had the urge for frosted flakes last week. So, he bought some. I said, hey, you're old enough. <laughs> I don't eat them. They're too sugary for me. I like my cornflakes. I like my Kellogg. Well, I like just the brand name cornflakes, but I like the Kellogg's because they're crispy. They hold the milk better. All right. So, let me just whack away on this with my scissors. I'm not trying to be perfect. And I think I might have to double this. It's strong. And I'm not sure it's strong enough. So, I think, well, shall I double it here? Can, let's see. Let's, <laughs> I've got too many things on my desk. I think I knocked my ink pen over. Put my bone folder in my drawer before I knock it over. Let's see. I want it to be, I know at least 11 and a fourth. I think that's what this is. And instead of measuring, I'm just going to draw lines, but I'm going to have to get out another pen. Let's use this one, and I'll draw lines. About like this, I guess. I'll just double this in half, and whatever it is, it's going to be how thick it is. 
and let's draw a line down this way and let's take this scissors while I have this here and let's score this hopefully I know what I'm doing <laughs> but that could be questionable <laughs> oh dear okay let's fold it this way first okay we'll cut it and we'll cut this and I scored this let's let's just turn it this way and I put my bone folder away well see what rosemary does with hers she does some nice things now that's not exact so i think i'm going to mm, i don't care uh but i do care about this so let's bring this out where's my knife what did i do with my knife there are my scissors, there's my bone folder. Here it is. <laughs> Anne says, remember, Mary, there are no such thing as mistakes in art, only learning experiences. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold the phone, because I got to plug it back in. Maybe I won't knock it off of the clip. Hold the phone. All right, it's plugged back in. Is it charged? Oh, you know what, you guys? This is my old phone. It does not hold the charge. I have to tell you, it is at, it's at 30%. So, I might have to finish this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this even. I might have to hurry and finish this one spine and before it, before it dies, before my phone dies. Ooh, this isn't cool. I have to hold that tight. Before my phone dies, that isn't working. I'm not holding it tight enough. Let's, that isn't working. Let's get my... Might have to tape it down. But you get the idea of where I'm going with this. I might finish it in another video. Or in my Friday night or early morning live. I've got a lot... Uh, things that I want to get done and who knows if this straight because I'm not sure so I might have to just do this and sign off because my phone is going to croak here pretty soon Let's see, I did charge, I did put the charger back in, but the phone is old. The battery's new. Now it's down to 27%. So I can't stay on too long. But I want to put this spine. I've doubled it. And I want to put it here. Let's just see what I can do before it goes down to 14%. I want to put it here not I want to keep that and I want it to yeah I want it to open up this way so I want it to fold this way but I might have to cut this down just a little we'll see so what I want bear with me here bear with me what I want is and I might have to recut that spine and out, allow a little bit more. Because, well, I want some space in there. Oh, I might be able to do it. No, I have to do it this way. And then put another one on the back. That's what I'll do. I think. No, that's not what I want. I'm going to have to cut this wider. See, I'm feeling my way around here. I want this here. And I'm going to want a one inch, and then I want another piece over here. So I want another piece. I'm going to have to cut this instead of two inches, three inches. 
And then I'll want to leave a little for the gutter, so maybe three and a half inches. So I'm going to cut another piece of this. So, I can't stay on too much longer. My phone's going to die. I've been on about an hour, which is good. Because you guys want to go have your Sunday afternoon or evening or morning, wherever you are. A crafting cliffhanger, Jones says. Let's see what's they in. Oh, no, Mary. It's going to leave us with a, yeah, a cliffhanger. Well, that's better than a, a, a big boo-boo, isn't it? Yeah, I think... I think I'm going to have to make this about three and a fourth inches because I want a little gutter here and a little gutter here and an inch here and then I want the space to hold it. So I learn as I go, Rosemary says, so I'll hold her to that. And I might have to, I might have to, because see, it'll fold like this. Let's just say that this is, this is all good here. And it'll fold like this. And then my book will come in like this. And it'll fold over like this. Like that. Well, only on the other side. <laughs> it'll open up like that, not like that. So that's what I want. But I might have to cut this short. We'll see. We'll see if I if I might have to cut this just a little short in order for it to all fit together. Or it'll stick out a little, which would be okay, too. So, I thank you all for coming. I don't think I said hello to all of you. So, for anybody that I miss saying hello to, thanks for coming. This was an impromptu. Rosemary, I'm going to get your spine journal done one way or another. <laughs> Yeah, make one, Jerry. You have plenty of time. <laughs> Mary, thank you for your impromptu. Have a great Sunday evening. And you too. You too. And I want to end this before my phone kicks me off. So thank you, Ann. Good to see you, Ann and Jerry and everybody else who popped in. So everybody have a good evening. The weekend's over with. You'll have to start another week tomorrow. But... In five days, you get another weekend. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Take care of your pets. Take care of your community. Take some time for some art. And if you don't have any time from art, just breathe. Bye, everybody.